What's up guys, Luis here again, coming to you with another Top 5 CDA Tweaks of the Week video. And today's theme of choice is for your lock screen, and it's called LS Windows, based of course on Windows 8. And what you can expect from this theme are four different tabs which will tell you the time and date, your latest Facebook updates, latest Twitter news, and also an RSS feed straight to your lock screen. Okay, so coming in at number one is a tweak lock toggle, which brings a very extensive set of toggles to your lock screen without the need to swipe or anything like that. They will be right there every time you unlock your phone, and you can change different settings such as airplane mode, flashlight, Bluetooth, brightness, and it's just a very convenient shortcut to your favorite toggles. The second tweak I have for today, guys, is switch icons by Ryan Petrick. It's actually very similar to the previous tweak, but instead of bringing toggles to your lock screen, it brings them to your home screen in the form of icons. As you can see, it does include quite a bit, and you can play around with them and try to come up with the best setup for you. Next up is a tweak called Pad Clock. So most of you guys know that setting an alarm on the iPhone is really inconvenient and just a slow process. With Pad Clock, to insert a time on the clock, all you have to do is type it instead of having to roll the bar to find the time that you want to set. Coming in at number 4 is a tweak, iYouTube Replay. So if you actually use a YouTube app, you may be familiar with the fact that the video does not replay automatically and this tweak basically fixes that. It will replay any video once it reaches the end, and you might want to check it out if you have been listening to Random Access Memories because, well, why not? Anyways, you guys should definitely check it out, especially being free. And finally, the last tweak I have for today's episode is Alt Keyboard. So if you're familiar with how the keyboard works, you know that you have to switch back and forth to type in special characters, but with this tweak, they actually come forth to the main keyboard and you're able to type in any of the characters by swiping up on any of the keys and I think this makes typing so much easier. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and let me know in the comments down below which tweet you guys like the best and if you have any suggestions for the next episode. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and as always, I will see you guys next time.